Hey, everybody. So today I was made aware of this fantastic McKinsey report that came out about 10 days ago, unlocking the value of AI and software development. And at first glance, I thought, hmm, I think I've heard this story before, but I suspended my disbelief and started skimming through this. And it gives an interesting assessment of the space of AI and software development. But toward the end, it gets into something that I believe is a huge win for common sense and something that maybe all of us cheaters have been hoping the world would realize, uh, not just us. And they have, it seems. And it reads uh, like this. Impact measurement, track outcomes, not just adoption. High-performing organizations know it's not sufficient to focus only on adoption metrics such as tool usage, frequency, or code acceptance rates. These outperformers track outcomes, monitoring quality improvements, 79%, and speed gains, 57%, by holding teams accountable for impact, leading organizations sustain momentum and adjust quickly when needed, while bottom performers focus solely on adoption metrics that, on their own, show little correlation with performance. I mean, As tooling evolves and allows for more capabilities, such as generating code from a design doc, the gold star impact metrics will also evolve, forcing organizations to be flexible and adaptable. Quote, too often companies measure AI's impact by counting how much code it produces rather than what that code achieves, says Tariq, CEO of Sonar, maker of code quality analysis tools. And this is the big win, I think, for common sense. Lines of code or AI contribution percentages don't reveal whether the output is secure, maintainable, or even useful. The real progress comes from tracking how these tools help teams ship higher quality, more reliable software, not just more of it. Now, I know many of us on GTT have known this for a while, but it's great to see this finally being broadcast and clear to other folks than just us. And in particular, uh, many people use these McKinsey reports to drive how they are sort of evaluating their companies. So the fact that it's made a McKinsey report, my hope is now that the rest of industry will realize that while code generation tools on their own might be helping, might not be helping, the only way to really determine this is to have systems like Mentor or others that can assess the quality, especially the quality over time. So, big win today.